Okay, dries. Now, we all know that dries are great on the reservoirs, and it's been a big part of the reservoir scene since, well, the early 70s. On a smaller still water, they're not really used that much, and I think that's a shame. And I think a lot of anglers are missing a trick because they are very good at sorting out those finicky, spooky fish. Obviously, you're, you're casting quite a bit at moving fish. You're looking at the fish, you're trying to look and see which way it's moving, you're trying to see how fast it's moving, and then you're trying to give it a lead, put your fly accurately in front of it. Now, if you were fishing three flies, and you're making quick casts, it's a recipe for disaster, um, and you're gonna tangle. I like to keep it really simple. So it's a 15 feet of copolymer leader, usually between six and eight pounds, seven and a half feet to the top dropper, a smaller fly, size 12 or 14, and then a further seven and a half feet to the point, a slightly larger fly, a 12 or a 10. I don't tend to exclusively watch the flies and wait for them to disappear. I just look in the general area. If there's a swirl, I assume the fish is taking it and just lift into it. If it hasn't taken it, you're already mid cast and you can just put your fly back in that area and you're already ahead of the game, so to speak. And that's, that's the thing with dries. You need to be focused, you need to be quick, and you need to be accurate. The pattern is not so important. Presentation is, hence the reason you need to degrease that um, copolymer leader to ensure that it just cuts through the surface. It tends to be a method that I would use in the summer months. So July, August, September. Once the weather's warmed up and the water's warmed up, it's especially effective last thing at night, just as the light's fading, the fish tend to come into the shallows, they'll come into the, you know, the, the shallower areas where the weed beds are and they'll feed on cricks, uh, snails, shrimp, all sorts of things. So I tend to stick with sort of generic dry patterns, um, small hoppers in black, claret or amber, um, the big red, or CDCs if I'm imitating a buzzer, just a yellow owl or something of that ilk.